Hey everyone, wow, summer's here and it's hot out there. Call me Sylvia Plath because it feels like my head's in an oven. But with spring gone, it's not just the weather losing its cool. The internet's all up in arms because Donald Trump is going to be electing a new judge to the US Supreme Court. Justice Anthony Kennedy is stepping down after several decades on the bench. Although at 81 years old, who can blame him really? When I'm that age, the only bench I'd want to be on would be in a nice park somewhere. I say who can blame him, but apparently the answer is any self-righteous person with a Twitter account and a Bernie Sanders bumper sticker and a shade of narcissism. But it's the internet, narcissism goes without saying. Anyway, what now? Perhaps the judicial system has its own method for appointing his successor, or there's a formal electoral system honed over centuries of legal development. Eh, not quite. This is a lot more like the process for electing people to the House of Lords or FIFA or the EU Commission. Namely, it's up to the whims and fancy of whoever's currently in office. It's a bit like when the management at work change what type of tea and coffee are going to be in the breakout area. And much like that large box of weird herbal tea in the kitchen, this new Supreme Court justice is going to be hanging around for decades to come. With a majority in both the Congress and the Senate, the President can pretty much put in anyone he likes, which is either a bad thing or a good thing, depending on your political persuasion. And whilst the President does admittedly have a large knowledge and history of how courtrooms work, it is mostly limited to legal actions like defamation, trademark infringement and bankruptcy proceedings. Therefore, we're likely to see someone from a list of party-approved names being parachuted in. The thing with the Supreme Court, though, is that they don't actually make the law. All they do is establish what badly written laws or ambiguous laws mean. If you don't like the interpretation of something, pass a new law or a constitutional amendment to fix it formally in writing. And if you don't have the seats to do that, then try to win some more next time. You know, ultimately, the US Supreme Court is but one part of the US government. And if you are on the left and you don't control any of the other parts, you can hardly complain at this stage about not being able to put your ideas into practice. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these clips, subscribe.